day video for you guys. The world has spanned yeah. Footage disappeared, so I can't record it again. But I decided to ask you this question anyway. I'll just show you the result quickly on the screen here. I ended up second place overall after Contador. Uh, a bit disappointed in the overall result here, honestly. I expected to win it before starting racing, but didn't happen. I think I ended up second in the green jersey and in the mountain jersey as well, so Contador. Maybe I beat the mountain jersey, I can't ex exactly remember. Then the under 25 jersey, I think I won it, yeah, I won it in front of Hinao and Timmy Wilson. I had a really bad team. Contador pretty much won because he had an all-star team to help him win the status. I had no one helping me in the mountains. When there was 50, 60 riders left in the mountains, I had no teammates left. And Contador has five, five or six teammates left, so it was pretty unfair. But I still managed up to getting second place only a minute and a half after Contador. Pretty similar to last year, where I just lost to Quintana. So, what I want to ask you guys is, what should we do about the series now? Down in the comments below, I'll be posting some suggestions, and you can also post your own suggestions, and I'll take a look at them. But, pretty much it is, should I continue this series? Should I... What what goals should I, should I chase in my career if I continue this series? Should I try and... Uh, Take my focus on on monuments or classics because I have pretty much won what I wanted to win. I mean, it would have been cool to win the world as Spain and Tour France in the same year, but I got two second places. I ha I have raced raced this race twice already now, so it's not that much fun to race it a third time with the same rider. Other opportunities is starting a new career, which then you'll have to say what kind of rider you wanted me to create. Should it be a Baudeur, a rider which goes in a breakaway all the time on flat status, on mountain status, on hill status and doesn't really, it's never a favorite for winning the stage but if he gets away, he has great stats on a flat road, great fighter stats, uh, great stamina, resistance stats but he's not really going to win anything. Uh, should, he, should I be a puncher, aka a rider who's good on, on hill classics and target monuments like the Lisbon the Edge? or Julian de Lombard, yeah, and the other are different classics like Amstel Gold Race or Fresh Vallon. And all of the hill status in all of the Grand Tours as well would be available if I choose to go that route. I could also choose to be a sprinter. I don't really know about being a sprinter because flat status seems to be pretty boring, but it would be exciting enough to create your own sprint train and just try and get away from, from the peloton on a... Uh, I just don't know how possible that is when you don't have control of your sprint train. So I'll have to just sit on the wheel of my teammate and hope they'll drive me forward. That sounds like that sounds a bit risky to me. I don't really know what how I should approach being a sprinter. I could also I don't really this one I don't think I will be at all, even if you guys pick it, honestly, just seeing. A climber. Pure climber, no time towards that. Because when the stage racing, I had 85, uh, 84 mount sets. Climb, I'll probably have potential to get up to 85. It's not that much more, is it? I mean, yeah, you could probably say that I would be able to drop the other guys in the mountains and still, and then uh, I will have a greater chance at, of beating uh, Quintana, Contador on these stages, and then I'll probably go even with them or lose a bit of time to run time to us, not the end of the world. But it's just so similar to what I'm doing right now, so I don't know about that. The other thing is the... what's it called? should probably put up a list for it, but I think there's some more as well. What did I miss? Cobblestones. Cobblestones was one of them, of course. I could go for the Norton Classics. Cobblestone Riders are usually pretty good sprinters as well, and good against the clock on, on flat as well. So. That's kind of a Baudeur with who scored on cobblestones as well. So pretty much the same. But again, cobble classics are few and far between. There's not a lot of cobble classics during the season. Most of them are from late February to uh, mid of April. And then it pretty much dies off the rest of the season. So I'll have to go on breakaways for the rest of the season. I don't know how exciting that would be. Other suggestions, I could 
play. I don't know if I've, yeah, I've got, if I've gotten, gotten through all of the options for my career yet, but I'll put them all down in the comments below. Upward the ones you like. Comment on which ones you think I should play if you want me to create another career mode or continue with the one I have right now. Our suggestion is I could play um, another game mode entirely. I could go with my career. I could create a new team. I have been streaming a few, two times already with the uh, Ethics Quick Step and I have posted the streams on my channel. Some of you guys have probably already seen them. So that's a possibility to go with uh, creating your own team as well. And then tell me what kind, what kind of teams should I focus on? Should I create a team with writers from a specific region in the world, specific country? Should I create a team with only sprinters or climbers and try and see if I could do something spectacular with those riders? Uh, it's a lot of possibilities. For some reason, I haven't have, I haven't been able to make online play work yet, so I don't know if I can make it work. I have been wanted to try and open some packs because it seems like a lot of fun. I have never opened a pack in the in online mode, so it could be pretty fun as well. If you want to see me do some pro segment pack openings, just like in FIFA or NBA or NFL or NHL. Or whatever. I don't know if it's a baseball game, but that's probably is. It has some kind of ultimate team kind of thing. I've been playing all FIFA yesterday, so I'm pretty into that right now. Or if there's anything else you wanted me to play in Pro Cycle Mandia, leave it down below as well. Other than that, I think that. Yeah, it's one more thing. One more thing. I wanted to say if there's any other game you want me to play. Besides this, then leave it down below because I've been wanting to play some other games, but I don't know what you guys are interested in. And I want to keep you guys happy and see what do you want me to play. I could play all the Cycle Manager game. I have Cycle Manager 4 sitting downstairs. I have been thinking about playing that, but I mean, who's going to want to watch Cycle Manager 4? That's what I'm thinking. It could be like a flashback series, but it's, it's a bit of a risk, so I haven't done it yet. So if you guys want to see something, a flashback series, uh, another game, another career mode, uh, another pro cycles mode, a lot of options here, uh, then leave a comment down below with what you want. I'll put some comments down below so you can vote on as well. Maybe I'll even do a straw poll. I don't think I will, but if you, if you guys ask me to do it, I'll probably do it as well. Probably be more easier to take care of, but I like it. And I like it, the uh, YouTube comment system as well. So I'll probably stick with that. And I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for over 600 subscribers. It's been pretty amazing that we've reached that number of subscribers already. I can almost can't believe it. It's, uh, you guys are commenting on all of my videos. You're liking them. Um, so I'm getting closer and closer to that 1000 subscribers, which is my goal for now. I'm really hoping that I can reach it before Christmas, but. It, right now, it seems like I'm probably reach around 708 of subscribers around Christmas time, which would be pretty amazing as well. But it's just, I was so used to the big boost of subscribers I got around the release of ProCycle Manager, and I was hoping that could go on, but I need to upload someone else, I think, to, uh, to get more guys to the channel to, to be with you guys here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like the video and comment down below with what you think I should do on the channel next. Bye.